hello friends uh, welcome to another video from programming tutorial channel in this video i want to solve the question number 5.17 and the question is about the uh, cell calculating cells so uh, we have uh, uh, the program is asking that use the switch statement and also a sentinel control group so let's start to solve this question i have initialized the variables which i need so uh, now let's start the program uh, first of all we need a sentinel group control um, this will uh, when the product id is equal to 0 then uh, the program will be uh, exit uh, the continue so now we uh, need to get some output enter value 1 2 5 or 0 now uh, if product id is uh, greater than or equal to 1 and and uh, 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 product id is uh, less than or equal to 1 so we greater than or equal to 1 less than or equal to 5 so and if uh, else if product id less than or uh, less than one and uh, product id is greater than five enter number uh, one Two five or zero two set and uh, so now let's start here. Uh, enter enter the quantity. Paint quantity is equal to input dot next end so you know about the variable input uh, it's coming from here and the, it's the object of a scanner class so let's uh, start a switch body so case one case one is equal to product one equals to product one uh, class quantity into price one and break now let's copy this uh, code and paste it here five times And 
So now uh, we have uh, write the code uh, for the sum summation. So let's uh, do this for uh, our output. Now we need uh, out of the switch we need to get some output. For this, we need to get the uh, format uh, format of a uh, money currency number format money format equals to. get currency instance so here we need between this um, local dot us us okay so where it comes from uh, we have here imported the local and the uh, number format class this is the a Java package so uh, now we can use this here plus money format dot format product one so I think there is a problem. We should copy this. Paste it here. So now it's spread. I think there there might be a spelling problem. So now copy and paste it five times. Control Shift F. Sorry. Shift Alt F will be uh, will uh, create the indentation of your code. Now here two and here product two three product three four product four five product five. Now uh, we did with the code I think so let's check how it runs mm. and there is a problem because um, it is not asking um, which which product you are going to enter the quantity so inside the while loop here we need the, the product number so um, product id 
package equals to input dot next and now uh, you are asking about the product ID so it will I think it will run quickly let's run it again now it's asking that the entire value 1 to 5 or 0 to exit so we have 5 product then we should enter 1 to 5 so uh, enter 1 and it's asking the quantity of the product number 1 which, are, which we uh, the seller sold so it sold for 5 now I want to enter some uh, invalid value 9 it is again asking that uh, please enter 1 to 5 or 0 to exit so now we enter 2 and we sold that 6 Enter three, we sold seventy five, and uh, we enter uh, four, and we sold ninety five. I enter five, and we sold ten hundred. Sorry. Now uh, let's exit the program and check the output. So this is the uh, the uh, the output of our program and how this dollar sign comes so let's sh uh, let me show you how that comes here we have uh, the object of class uh, number format and also it get an instance of the uh, currency so uh, this is why we we have the dollar sign uh, here uh, before our product so uh, I think the equation is solved and uh, please subscribe the channel to get my next videos if you like this video share it with your friends and uh, ask them to subscribe my channel I think I have one extra output here now uh, it is uh, working 100% correct let's check me once again i check this number one 56 number two 22 number three 33 number four 44 and number five 55 and you can uh, run it uh, again and again the, for example i again enter product number one and we should put three it will calculate the um, 33 plus 66 uh, and it will uh, multiply with the price of that product it will uh, get the output at once so let's enter zero now you see this is the uh, the price for uh, 66 and 23 this is the total uh, uh, total uh, value of sold product number one so thank you guys uh, please like the video subscribe the channel and uh, share the video with your friends